crime, what do we need to do to prevent it? It seems that, with all the technology we have available to us today, we should be able to find a way to prevent a lot of crimes from happening. One simple solution seems to be cameras. In addition to the growing number of private surveillance cameras, CCTV camera and software system technology has improved a lot in recent years, giving police and CSI more tools for both preventing and solving crimes. With all the camera phones, it's also becoming very difficult for anything to happen publicly without someone filming a video of it. It's getting harder for criminals to find places where they can commit crimes. In many cities, police cars now have dash cameras, and police officers now must use body cameras, which makes it much easier to know what happens when police take action. This gives both police and the suspect's police arrest the power to demonstrate their side in court. Solutions, however, are not always so simple and many times introduce new problems. In this case, privacy becomes the new problem. With all these cameras filming all of the time, people are certainly losing privacy. Maybe safety is more important than privacy. We have to draw a line, but nobody wants to have someone looking over their shoulder all day. Police, of course, are no different. If we are to make police officers wear body cams and record their actions, the audio and video recordings need to be kept private. In fact, they need to remain unviewed unless they are used to solve a legal fight in a court of law. If not, they should never be seen or heard to give police officers the privacy they need to do their jobs. Lightspeedesl.com